we focused on a few key themes with Android Support Library version 26. Shipping new features related to text and animation, improving parity with the Android framework and various form factors such as WHERE and TP, and finally, making the library leaner by moving min SDK to 14 and dropping 1.4K methods. So let's start by seeing what's new with text and fonts. With Support Library 26, we've simplified working with custom fonts. You can now use them like any other resource, placing them in a new font resource folder. We also now support downloadable fonts, meaning that you don't need to bundle your font files in your APK. Instead, the system will fetch them for you from a font provider, such as Google Fonts, provided by Google Play services. Next topic for text, emojis. You might have seen this sad, blank, square character whenever an app can't display an emoji. Evolving Unicode standards mean that the OS doesn't always have an up-to-date font to display the newer symbols. With the Emoji Compat library, your app can get backwards compatible emoji support on devices with API level 19 and higher. You now have three widgets, Emoji Edit Text, Emoji Text View, Emoji Button, but also support for app compat widgets and helper classes that allow you to work with your own custom widgets. Emoji Compat can be configured with either bundled or downloadable fonts. Check out the documentation to find out how to use it. Let's say that you want the text size of your text view to expand or contract automatically to fill its layout. With Support Library 26, all you need to set up is the text view auto size. You can control the granularity to define a step size together with a minimum and maximum text size. Or you can provide a discrete range of sizes to use. Next topic on our list, animation. You can now implement animations driven by physics forces, so being velocity-based rather than time-based. This helps create a smooth, natural-looking animation that can correct its course when the target changes. It also simplifies handoff between gestures and animations. We have two main types of uh, physics-based animations, spring and fling. Let's say you have a view that can be dragged around the screen, but then when you release it, you want it to go back to its place. Using a spring animation will make the view feel like it's being pulled back by an invisible but familiar force. You can customize the spring stiffness, damping ratio, and its final position. If you want to animate the property of an object and you want the animation to end gradually, use the fling animation. You can customize parameters such as the starting velocity, the friction, and the minimum and maximum animation values. If you're working with vector graphics, you'll be happy to hear that some of the features introduced in newer SDKs are also part of the support library. Vector Drawable Compat has a new property, Fill Type, that determines which regions of the image are inside the shape, similar to the Fill Rule property of the SVGs. Animated Vector Drawable Compat has now the ability to morph shapes and define path-based interpolators, allowing it to create rich animations that work back to API 14. Developing for Android Wear or Android TV, we have some good news for you. The Wear UI library has now become a full support library that contains some classes that you might already be using, such as box inset layout, swipe dismiss frame layout, wearable recycler view, as well as some new components for action and navigation drawers. Several improvements have been made to LeanBack's API, including a new video playback element with Seek support. Check out the LeanBack documentation to find out more. We have some other notable changes in this version of the support library. The percent support module was deprecated, so you should use ratios on the constraint layout widget instead. And we have a new preference data store API that allows you to implement your own preference storage. But also a behavior change for Fragment Manager. Execute pending transaction, commit now, and similar transaction calls are no longer allowed during Fragment Manager state changes. Fonts, emojis, auto size text view, physics based animation, vector graphics, form factor changes, and others. That's a lot of APIs in the new support library that allow you to implement the best experience for your users. To find out more, check out the documentation page and the Google I.O. talk on what's new in support library.